Despite some positive news coming from specific regions, the global loss of tropical forests remained a big problem in 2023, according to a report released Thursday by the World Resources Institute, presented in a webinar with experts from around the globe. The data from the University of Maryland's GLAD lab gathered for the Global Forest Watch program showed the world lost a total of 3.7 million hectares of tropical primary forests last year. That's 9% less than in 2022, but still equivalent to losing almost 10 football fields of forest per minute, and not enough to put the world on track for reaching the goal of zero deforestation by 2030. There are just six years remaining until 2030, by which time the leaders of more than 100 countries promise to halt and reverse forest loss. So on the next slide, you can look at our proxy for deforestation, uh, which focuses on permanent changes in tree cover. And we see that we are actually not on track to halt global deforestation by 2030. And in fact, we are heading in the wrong direction. Forest cover losses in Bolivia, Laos and Nicaragua due to wildfires and agricultural expansion were highlighted by the researchers as among the most dramatic, while the positive highlights came from Colombia with a 49% reduction in 2023 and Brazil with 36%. Both Brazil and Colombia had changes in leadership in the past year or so, and the new administrations in those countries really put forests as a priority. Here in Brazil, environmentalists have praised the country's progress in reducing devastation in the Amazon, but concerns remain over how much further that protection can advance and about the destruction taking place in other forest ecosystems across the country. The Cerrado, Brazil's savanna region, located in its central zone, is among the worst hit, with a growing loss of forest cover, about 48% in 2023, mostly due to agricultural expansion. And despite improvements in monitoring and control actions, experts say even more resources are still badly needed. We have good experiences on uh, systems to monitor, we have the right people, but we need to increase the number of people that are supporting the, deforest the combat of deforestation in Brazil. But the type of uh, the problem that we are facing here demands stability, de demand investments, demand the commitment from the private sector. Despite a growing consensus around the world on the need to preserve forest land, this new data suggests much more action is needed on the ground to support environmental goals. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.